Hey, here we are again for the 31-ish days of horror films. And, um, you know, as I have explained before, I'm uh, just going through and randomly picking horror films off of Amazon. Uh, I pull up Amazon on the TV. I see how many horror Prime videos are available. Um, one out of, like, 175. And uh, I use that range to... Uh, uh, let a random number generator on Google pick what number movie I watch, and uh, that's what, what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, it's all about uh, this way I can pick something that I maybe normally wouldn't have picked. It's all up in the air. Sometimes I'll see great stuff. Sometimes I'll see not so great stuff. But I watched Infestation from 2009, and I, I don't know how I didn't know this movie existed before. It, this movie was, uh, I thought, pretty great. It starts out, right from the beginning, there's shit going down. And, uh, you know, it has sort of that great element of what uh, 28 Days Later had, where we know as much as the characters do. But there's uh, some sort of, like, insecty things uh, wrapping up people in, in uh, webs slowly feeding on them, and, uh, um, yeah, scary stuff. Um, you know, sometimes monsters get a little too fake, kind of. Like, Cloverfield was a pretty good movie, but I thought the monster looked dumb. I liked Stranger Things, but I thought the monster looked a little too fake. These had giant beetles. That's scary stuff. Um... So, uh, yeah, it's the stuff of nightmares. So it's about a guy who just got fired, and he is now uh, forced to work with uh, his boss and a bunch of co-workers. they got to stick together. This is, like, a great dynamic. The main character is, like, kind of a loser, but we root for him enough because he's got, you know, just a string of bad luck. Um, people are acting irrationally, which is completely realistic. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of low budget, you would say, but uh, great performances. Sort of like an unexpected story it went in some, some turns that I, I, I didn't uh, see coming. It's always fun seeing Ray Wise uh, on screen. And, uh, you know, a lot of, like, creepy Cronenberg uh, the Fly or um, uh, John Carpenter the Thing moments. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, Infestation was great. Um, I kind of don't know why uh, more people don't know about this film. So uh, check that one out, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.